why in the world am I doing this? Here I am risking my life unnecessarily. Why am I doing this? I want to tell people what's going on in the world. I want to try and get it absolutely right and convey all that's there. Um, I have a passion about that and I feel also passionately about what I see. When journalists talk about a front row seat in history, that is literally what we had. From the balcony, we saw a unique historical era blown to bits. People think that being a journalist is glamorous. It's not. It's potentially very deadly work. I've been very, very lucky. Others, unfortunately, have not. They fly from their comfortable beds to face bullets and bombs in foreign lands. I love going to war. Um, I'm excited by war. Fighting is the easiest story in the world to cover. It really is easy. Uh, it's very, very dangerous and may require being in good physical condition, but not much more than that, because it's happening for you. You have to say to yourself, look, I'm obviously not going to get out of this alive, so I don't need to worry about that. I can put that out of my mind. For journalists, war reporting is perhaps the most compelling work of all, but it's also a career that claims more than its fair share of casualties. We all got into this job because we wanted to make an impact, but you don't realize the impact that that might have, least of all on yourself. The effect on survivors was blind panic. I spent five days in Chechnya and I said, get me out of here. It was horrific. We think Bosnia was bad, we think Sarajevo was bad. I just thought I can't cope with this. And I thought, this is absurd, absolutely absurd. We're going home, which is the, just the place you go to after a war when you've been as lucky as we've been. Of course the demons are there and I, um, I've been told that I scream in my sleep. Yeah. Um, but I'd be fascinated to know who told you. And if you'll excuse me, I just want to break off because we've had some incoming sniper fire. In this program, we meet the war correspondents who risk their lives for us. After hours of shooting and facing total panic. And we hear the stories behind the stories that have made our daily papers and news bulletins. We also trace the increasing risk to journalists over the years as more and more die in accidents, friendly fire incidents, and in recent years, at the hands of soldiers and armed civilians who seem determined to kill the messenger. <laughs>